Welcome back everybody. My name is Elizabeth. I am a flight attendant for a major US carrier and I'm here in the employee parking lot um, where every day is like trying to find a parking spot at the mall during Christmas. <laughs> um, that's the way I feel. But uh, yeah, so three day trip. I self-assigned. I'm on PM reserve this month so I self-assigned into this trip. It is 2.10 p.m. It's Thursday and tonight, I think we're working three to Ontario and then the next day three to Birmingham, Alabama. I don't think I've ever been to Alabama so I get to check that off my list. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm in the B position. I'm in the back. Whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Um, I don't know. I'm just laughing because there's this car behind me. I don't even know if I can show you. My finger's right there. Oh, you can't see it from this angle. I'll have to get out and show you. It's um, it's a Tesla with a cover on it, a car cover. <laughs> so Denver is notorious for hail out at the airport. And I mean, again, I've been parking in this lot. My 13 year anniversary with my airline is in a couple weeks. And I have had hail damage, but I, in th one time in 13 years. So, but it just makes me giggle, giggle a little bit. When you're a pilot and you're rich, <laughs> well, um, I would suggest an airport car. For If you have a really nice car, have a beater to drive to the airport in case of hail. So, yeah. All right, let's go find the bus. It's somewhere. to Seattle and then I'm not sure where we go next and then we end up in Ontario so yeah here we go all right so the lighting is super bad but so we're in Ontario we're at the hotel and this really sucks so you guys see that's like the elevator Hopefully it's not too busy here tonight. Ugh, I don't like being that close to elevator, the elevator because it's just loud. So three to Ontario today. We didn't end up serving on the last one because it was bumpy coming in from Sacramento. I'm gonna unpack, change and eat. And then, yeah. Why did that get dark all of a sudden? I don't know. All right. All right, so day one in the books. Tomorrow we have two flights to Birmingham, Alabama. That's the plan. We have to be in the lobby at um, 1220. This hotel, I mean, this hotel is so big, they don't even drop us off at the um, front door. I was here a couple weeks ago. So Ontario for me equals slam clicking, sleeping, hanging out. That's what happens in Ontario. But I'm kind of excited about Birmingham. I've never been. And from what I read, there's stuff to do around the hotel. So if it's not like super hot, maybe we'll go out and explore. But all right, time to get ready for bed. Good morning. <clears throat> All right. 
day two. I am testing lighting because I'm gonna do a YouTube live. Well, apparently I don't have enough subscribers or watch hours or whatever on YouTube, so I can't go live. I'm good at live. I, um, probably, you guys probably don't know, but I sold LuLaRoe and I went live all the time on Facebook. So I'm good at live. I like to go live. Facebook, I mean, YouTube. So I did a short and maybe I'll start adding some shorts because I just shot it on my phone, threw it up there just so you guys have some semblance of idea what's going on. Like my 340 people care that much. <laughs> I did, I had a subscriber named Curtis reach out to me and we've been chatting on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's flygal737. Um, it's got more like, just like personal life stuff as well. Um, but it was fun chatting with Curtis. He's going to be a new flight attendant for my airline. And I think because of him, I'm inspired. I'm going to shoot a like how not to fail training or the best tips. Or if you guys are going to in-flight training and would like a video about the best practices, best tips for in-flight training, comment below, comment with maybe what you would like to know about in-flight training. Um, I can do, I can answer, answer general questions. Um, I can answer airline specific questions, but um, yeah. So I'm looking at my, notifications coming up. I just traded a reserve block. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to really actually get ready in a little bit. Maybe I'll watch an episode of Desperate Housewives and we'll start day two. All right. So we're on the plane in Ontario. We're on an 800 and we're running about 30 minutes late, I guess, flow control into Dallas. We're going to Dallas. Um, we're pretty full. I think we have 10 empties. And then when we go to Birmingham, we're gonna have about 80 empty seats. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But I got big old coffee. And yeah, there we go. Day two underway. So we're in Birmingham, it's so like orangey yellow in here. That's just the lighting. And it was an easy day. We were a little bit delayed because of flow control going into Dallas. So we ended up um, getting to Birmingham ooh, about 30 minutes late. So we went Ontario to Dallas, Dallas to Birmingham. And I've got ribs heating up in the in my hot logic, but I wanted some fries. And so I just ran, there's a restaurant just down the street. And so I ran to get some French fries to go with my wings. And let's see, let's try one. Mm, good, they're hot. So I'm gonna eat. I don't know if they gave me one. Um, some ranch in here. So I'm gonna eat. Oh, and my husband, so he was so frustrated because I'm waiting on this new computer and um, Best Buy dropped the ball huge. I didn't know where the computer was after they told us on the 7th that it was in town. It just needed to come over to their store. I guess that wasn't true. And so um, he canceled the order and was able to find almost the exact same computer at Apple. So he went and picked it up for me. So that'll be fun to open when I get home tomorrow. Probably not till Sunday, but all right, time for some food. So my food was really yummy. I'm just sitting in the bed watching Desperate Housewives. And guys, it is so humid. It's, it's humid in the room. Um, I mean, I knew it was humid. I just, I hate when it feels damp. Oh, I hate it. So I have my air conditioning on, so that should help. But I hate, I hate that part. But <laughs> I just had to come on and tell you that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to move things around for October, my schedule in October. 
I need to move two trips. I don't want to work on Halloween because the kids are going to be trick-or-treating. And then I have um, plans on the 16th of October. So that's what I need. Be uh, that's what I'm going to start working on as well as watching Desperate Housewives. So good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. So I decided to get up and go out for brunch. There's a place called the Southern Kitchen right down the street. So I'm going to go down there for brunch. It's 1130. We have to be in the lobby, I think, at 2. So, and I woke up hungry. Let's go check it out. So I got French toast. I'd have to read the description, but it had peaches, bourbon glaze, pecans on top. And it's nice out. It's not super hot. It's, I think it's like mid eighties. So not too bad. Obviously I had to wash my hair if I was gonna hit the humidity. There was no point in trying to keep it straight. But we're across from, it looks like, I think it's like a little league a minor, uh, not minor league, but a little league baseball or softball stadium. Reminds me of, or I don't think, I don't know if it's the college or not. Makes me want to look it up. But it's, it's nice out. Might walk around a little bit before I have to go back to the hotel. Not sure which direction to go, so we'll see. But I think that's like, I don't know. I don't know where I am. I'll look at Google Maps, maybe walk around a little. So far, looks like we're on time. Um, I checked my flights. Nothing is delayed, so that's good. Sit down on the steps. But I would definitely come back here. It's a nice little area. Again, there's options for food if you want to. There's an English pub that's attached to the hotel that is supposed to open in two weeks. So I'm just excited to see all these businesses back up and running. I, I'm just hoping that it can stay that way and just, yeah. So for all of our jobs. <laughs> back in the hotel, it's a little bit of a mess. We'll do the circle, the bed. I always travel with a heating pad, always. And the desk. It's covered in the hot logic. It's got the hot logic from heating up my ribs last night and all of my charging stuff. Let's see. Suitcase. Uh, I have to be downstairs in about an hour and a half, I think. A little shy of an hour and a half. So, I don't know. See what I'm gonna do. Hang out. But, and then we're going home, to home today. Orlando change planes in Orlando to Denver. So, yay. And again, like I said, everything looks good so far. Don't want to jinx myself.
we're on board, we're starting boarding. And this plane has music, so I'm gonna have to talk to you later <laughs> so I don't get a copyright strike. But we're boarding up to head to Orlando. Aircraft is popping Orlando. Little ground time. I'm going home to Denver. All right, so we're in our new plane. I'm having some food. And they're gonna do a pressurization test on the plane because the crew that came off the plane just thought there was a little bit too much wind noise or whatever um, from the forward entry door. So maintenance is here checking things out. So I'm gonna eat. I don't, I hope everything's good. I don't want any delays. I wanna go home on time. <laughs> All right, I'll keep you posted. Well, we are not taking this aircraft to Denver. Um, they did a pressurization test and the mechanics could definitely feel more air flow. One was on the inside, one was on the outside. Okay, and they could definitely feel more airflow than was supposed to be there. So they're fixing the door several hours. So I don't know what we're doing. We're getting off. Hopefully they'll swap us into a different aircraft because I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. All right. Okay, we're on our new plane and we're headed to Denver. Yay! Well, we leave in a few minutes. Three hours, 21 minutes, going home. So excited. All right, so I'm home and it's 11 o'clock. So of course everyone is still awake. <laughs> Hannah. Everybody, you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we got home, safe and sound. I'm going to open the new computer, which this video will be edited on. Yay! Cookie. Uh, Gabrielle's got the cookies in the microwave. So, um, all right, I will see you guys in the sky. Bye.